Have you ever been walking through your garden, a meadow, or an open field like this and see what looks like a glob of saliva clinging to the stem of a plant, kind of like we've got right down here? Well, if so, this is not a natural secretion by the plant. It's the work of an insect. That insect is aptly named the spittle bug because it looks like a little glob of spittle around the stem. Well, spittle bugs are little leafhopper type insects that have piercing sucking mouth parts. The nymph or the immature spittle bug will pierce the stem, start sucking out the plant's juices, and will excrete a lot of the excess fluid and cover itself with it. And then by blowing air through its abdomen, it froths it up or makes this bubbly mass like this until it completely covers itself. The spittle bugs rarely are present in large enough numbers to do any significant damage, but if you have more than one or two on a plant, they could cause some harm. I'll just try to find the little, little spittle bug, show you what it looks like. There we go, I can see him trying to run around in there. There he is, work him out here onto my finger. But there you see him, he's kind of like a little leafhopper type insect. They're in the order Homoptera, like the leafhoppers, aphids, and cicadas. But there are a few states that uh, have some types of spittle bugs that do significant damage to pines, junipers, rosemary, and occasionally strawberries. But here in Oklahoma, they generally aren't a problem. If you have one or two of these on one of your prized garden plants, and uh, you don't really want them there, just blast them away with a strong spray from your water hose. Well, you're probably wondering why the spittle bug does this on the plant, and the reason is it uh, provides a moist environment and it keeps the insect from drying out. It's a real soft-bodied insect, and it also hides it from predators like uh, lady beetles or praying mantis. And if you think about it, the predator probably won't want to dig through a uh, a, a wad of uh, sticky goop looking for a meal. I, I know I wouldn't want to do that. So the next time you're out in your garden or somewhere and you see this, you'll know that it's a happy home of the little spittle bug and not a, a wet glob of spit.